Hi guys, my name is Anpama and welcome back to my channel Lifeaholic. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to Watson's Bay in Sydney. Now, this is a harbour side which has some really incredible views, a lot of eateries, parks, beaches and a lot of places that you can walk around and lots and lots of greenery and that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you in today's video so make sure that you watch this video right till the end you can actually make a day trip to Watson's Bay so stick around till the end I'm going to give you guys all the information that you will need to go and visit Watson's Bay but before we proceed into the video make sure that you give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button below and the bell icon next to it if you really like like my content then I would really appreciate if you could just take a second and click on the red subscribe button let's go there are many different ways to get to Watson's Bay we took a metro to Chatswood from Chatswood station we switched over to a train to Vineyard from Vineyard you can either walk it up to Circular Quay or you can take a light rail we took another train to Circular Quay. In Circular Quay, there are many wharfs for ferries that will take you to different locations. We stopped by for having something to drink on the way and off we left for our ferry. Ferry ride in Sydney is a must. The blue waters and the blue sky with the birds flying over the waters is absolutely a brilliant sight to see. And you cross some of the most iconic places of Sydney like the Harbour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House. We sat in the front of the ferry. It was really, really windy, but oh my God, a ferry ride that I'll never forget. I've just reached the Watson Bay right now and ferry ride was absolutely amazing. We sat in front so it was pretty sunny and very very windy but it was really nice and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. We've just reached the Watson Bay and right now we are in, in a park and uh, we're just going to walk around and see there are a lot of eateries over here and uh, I can see some people have got their own food and sitting under the tree and having their food. It's like really fresh feeling over here and uh, the greenery just makes it really very beautiful. So they have these different walkways and uh, one side of the walkway is facing the Manly Beach and one side of the walkway is going to face the Bondi Beach. We are actually going towards the Manly Beach because that's a little higher and the view will be more scenic. So yes, absolutely, absolutely loving it over here. walk 
along the ocean was really very blissful. There were many steps to climb and I wouldn't deny the harsh sun here made it pretty challenging. But the view as we reached higher and higher just got more serene. There are benches at each point where you can just sit and relax and soak in every ounce of this tranquility. showcased here was the remains of Dunbar shipwreck that sank nearby the coast and 121 people had lost their lives. Only one survived and a few collectibles were then excavated. The anchor of the ship was recovered later and kept here as a memorial. Later we decided to also walk the other direction towards Bondi. Since the walk was pretty tiring, my parents and my younger nephew Ryan wanted to rest on one of the benches, so me and my other nephew, Neil, set out to explore the other side. This Bondi walkway was pretty densely covered with plants and there were these small pockets where you can just sit in between this greenery. I felt that this walkway was a little steeper than the other one but all my fatigue kind of just vanished when I saw this beautiful view from the top. done and about to take a ferry back to Circular Quay. Um, this is such a very refreshing place. Actually, this is a place where you can just come spend time. Uh, there are a lot of eateries around and uh, a lot of these beaches that you can actually just step in and uh, not at all crowded and I, I absolutely love the vibe of this place. Though there is a lot to walk around but you have a lot of these benches and parks and a lot of places where you can sit. Even during the walking trail there were a lot of these benches so that you don't feel tired, you can just take a break and uh, you can explore this place at your own pace and of course the um, harbour line just looks absolutely breathtaking, the blue water, the sky over here, uh, the greenery all around it's just like amazing and plus the birds just sure make it look really really fun I really really enjoyed my day today it's really windy my hair is just flying all over um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um, I hope you guys got all the information that you need uh, to visit this place if in case you uh, want to know anything else about Watson's Bay then please leave it down in the comment section I will try answering them hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please do hit like on this video and please do subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button below and the bell icon next to it until we meet again next time stay tuned bye